show, we talked about pH. And it's funny, there's, there's like, there are these situations where people go to Home Depot and they see, wow, a blueberry plant, it's on sale. I'm going to put it in my yard. It's like really great price. So can we talk about pH? Why, what is pH and why is it important for a successful experience with your blueberry plant? Yes. So pH is a measure of how acidic or basic your soil might be. And as we mentioned in the first part of the show, uh, blueberries really do need a soil that is on the acidic side of, of that range. Um, for five to five, two um, is ideal. Up to five, five is fine. Um, and so what is happening when the soil pH is in this more acidic range is that the availability of different nutrients and the forms in which they exist based on soil chemistry are somewhat different. So for example, um, nitrogen is in the ammonium form, whereas you might look at a bag of fertilizer and see that perhaps it has something called nitrate in it, that's a nitrate form. That is not the kind of nitrogen that blueberries use. They actually need the ammonium form. And so when you are under these um, lower pH conditions, the nutrients are in forms that the blueberries are better able to take up. And some of them, such as micronutrients, such as iron or zinc, are also much more available to the plants. And so often if you put a blueberry in a soil that is too high of a pH, you'll see that it turns yellow because of usually an iron deficiency. And so some of the, the first steps we want people to do is to um, do a soil test on their soil. And we generally will recommend that they use a lab that is in their region because normally that will use methods that give them the most accurate um, picture. And they will give you specific instructions. This is what to do yes. with your soil. This is how much to sprinkle down. This is what to do. Yes, typically they will give you that if you're a commercial grower on a per acre basis or for a home garden, perhaps on a per thousand square foot basis and tell you how many pounds of sulfur you need or other materials you could use. Fantastic. That's so what about then you plant your plant, you, your blueberry plant, you give it lots of love, you water it regularly. Um, what about now you say that these are plants that don't need a lot of fancy nutrient inputs or do, do we fertilize them quite regularly? Do blueberries need a lot of fertilizers? Mm -hmm. There are a few things, well, a few things I want to touch on there. One is the, the part about planting the plant that I do want to touch on is that, you know, we mentioned they have this very fine root system. So they do need a lot of organic matter in the soil. And so when you're planting your plant, typically we will recommend that you mix in about half peat moss to half soil when you're making that planting hole and um, putting your plants in the ground. So the bigger an area you can work this organic matter into the better. And then um, typically we will want to mulch the plants to, to um, with, with organic matter, again, keep those soil, um, those roots cool and moist and get your plants off to a good start. And then when it comes to fertilizing, yes, you're exactly correct. They don't need as much fertilizer as a lot of our other garden plants might. It is very easy to burn the roots off of them in the first year. So normally, um, when you get your soil test results, there will be some recommendations for mixing in nitrogen. So that's mixed in throughout the whole bed. So it's it's dispersed, you know, and you're not getting fertilizer concentrated in one area. So there will be that. But then after you plant the plants, um, about two months after planting, once they've become established, you can give them a light dose of a nitrogen fertilizer um, with the equivalent of what's only, if you were using something like um, ammonium sulfate, which is 20% nitrogen, you would only apply about a half of a tablespoon per plant maximum to, to give that plant a little extra nutrition in that first year. Um, you can use organic forms of fertilizer as well that are made for acid loving plants. Those are fine too. Um, they tend to be a little gentler, but yes, they don't need nearly as much. And even in a mature planting, 
we are really still um, looking at fertilizer rates that are only only about half that that you might put on a tomato plant, you know, in the year wow. that you're growing it. So, so the levels are very low. Um, we will gradually. I had I had mentioned that um, you know half tablespoon of ammonium sulfate. You may increase that to four to six tablespoons per plant in a mature planting over the span of about five to six years. But other than that, they really don't need. Um, need a whole lot of fertilizer. We do, however, recommend that people do continue to do a soil test every so often, um, more often when they're establishing the plants, but maybe spread that out every two to three years or so once the planting's established, just to see if any other nutrients are getting um, out of whack as they're being extracted from the soil. We have an email from a listener, Carolyn writes, should blueberry bushes be pruned annually? If so, when's the best time of year? And are there any companion plants that help blueberry bushes to enhance fruit production? Coming into spring is when we would normally prune them. And the way um, blueberries grow, and here we're talking about high bush blueberries. So we're not really, and, and this will apply to the half highs as well. We're not really going to touch on low bush blueberries for this. They will normally send up new canes from the root system. And those canes will become, um, they will become more twiggy, I guess, over time. And as they become more twiggy, they become thinner and they dry out and desiccate more quickly during the winter time. They also tend to produce, um, perhaps, how do you want to say that? Each of those tips can produce flower buds. And so you can end up with those older canes producing a lot of small berries, whereas a younger cane might produce bigger fatter berries. And so, yeah, so what we want to do with that plant is keep a range of cane ages on it that are from about one to five or six years old, a range of cane ages. Um, gradually over time, we will prune out the oldest canes and young, allow younger, newer canes to come up to replace those. And so that'll keep the plant young. Um, we'll also do some pruning to remove any kind of disease looking wood or anything, you know, that just isn't growing well that might, might be harboring some problems. 